We're here today in the Central Belt in Scotland with Jonathan Davis of Norbert Dontresongel and Robert Ellis of Rescue Solutions. Robert, tell us what does Rescue Solutions do? Rescue Solutions are effectively a supply chain business consultancy who in 2007 saw uh, an opportunity for uh, contract packing uh, to a very high level, something that uh, we thought wasn't available within the central belt of Scotland. Um, we did the survey uh, to canvas opinion of uh, potential customers and they were looking for um, various things like stock control, stock traceability, uh, stock management and um, their uh, ethos was quite clearly moving from uh, where they were to something a bit more quality conscious and um, premiumisation um, within their packages. Jonathan, tell us about Norbert Dontresangle and your involvement with, with the drinks industry. Okay, um, in terms of Norbert in Scotland, uh, I run the shared user site. Um, we handle, uh, we store about 12,000 pallets of drink and handle about 6 million cases a year for some prestigious customers such as Maxim, Glenorangi, Inverhouse, White and Mackay. We also do some wines for customers like uh, Majestic Wines, etc. So we're very much engrossed in the in the drinks industry, and working alongside uh, the Rescue Solutions team. Not only can we offer the full distribution package, we can also offer the contract packing. Um, plus Roberts um, and Douglas's partners. Um, ability and experience within the consultancy side of things. So what are the real advantages of doing contract packaging on the site? Um, for me, as a from non Norbert Dondresongler's uh, point of view, um, it adds another string to our bow. Um, you know, I just don't go out and market our ways as you know, collection, storage and delivery. Um, we go out jointly and we can collect the product from customers, from suppliers, we can procure the dry goods, the packaging goods, we can store the product, repack it um, into, into anything the customer requires. We can then restore it, dispatch it, export it. We, we can offer them a real one-stop shop. And um, uh, what, are the, what are the latest trends then in uh, gift packaging? It's definitely premium uh, and smaller, uh, smaller run sizes, uh, something the drinks manufacturers can't really do in-house. Uh, so they're looking for somebody who has the, the infrastructure and with Norbert's infrastructure and our expertise in contract packing, we can provide something that's pretty flexible, uh, pretty responsive, uh, provides service excellence and quality cues that uh, all our customers are looking for. And Jonathan, what about the state of the market? Is it, um, do you have huge sort of peaks and troughs during the year? Uh, yeah, we have some um, fantastic peaks, um, particularly now, we're right in the middle of one. Um, our volume will go up something like 300% over the sort of eight to 12 week period. Um, we also have peaks around about March, pre-budget. We're very much into the uh, ready to drink market now as well. Um, brands like Ginger Grouse are coming onto the market and they have big uplift in the summer as well as at Christmas. So if the weather's good, our volumes go up big sport and events, we've got the Commonwealth Games to look forward to and, and again there'll be lots of opportunities there for premium packaging and people want to take souvenirs of, particularly in Scotland, of the, of the whisky industry stuff. And Jonathan, I, I, I gather you're also involved with export as well? Yes, uh, again very much through the Rescue Joint uh, Venture Solution we'll export um, product for certain customers. Again that's part of the wider ND multinational offering that you know, we, we can basically do anything with such a diverse company now. So Robert, is there a particular case study you could talk about to show what contract packaging is all about? Yes, I think in terms of responsiveness and quality, we have a, a joint customer, uh, Maxim UK, who are looking for a solution to promote price for the product. Uh, we worked with them to look at the method of application and uh, how we communicate that price and it was determined at the end of the day it was by means of a shrink sleeve uh, mechanism. Uh, we looked at capital investment for that solution, uh, made the decision, I think we said earlier that decision making is very, very quick with uh, Jonathan and I. Uh, we made that investment very quickly to get the equipment in uh, and at the same time working with Maxim about the aesthetic values of the, the offering 
Uh, we went on to purchase the materials as well. So within the space of probably four to five weeks from the concept being uh, talked about, we were delivering the solution to the marketplace. And Robert, would you add anything to that in terms of the brands that you... Um yes, I think we pride ourselves very much in uh, brand association. So um, through the contract packing facility, we have uh, a number of high profile global brands, for example, uh, Dalmore. Isle of Jura, Glen Morangi, Ardbeg, Famous Grouse, Curvoise, Jim Beam, to name but a few. Um, so it's very high-end, uh, premium global brands we're dealing with. And we'd also like to add to that portfolio, of course. And what, are there any other advantages to, to, for the client in the service that you're offering? Well, yes, um, I think Rob is going to explain more, but certainly the consultancy basis, that, that aspect at the very start of the process um, you know, they deal with one person, they get one invoice for the full um, service. So it's a, a one-stop shop? Yeah. yeah. I think as well, if I, I can add, that um, the infrastructure within ND uh, is uh, underpinning everything we do, so it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty important in terms of uh, the service levels we provide to our customers. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you both very much indeed. Um, so that's it from Glasgow. There you have it a real one-stop shop solution for contract packaging.